What is going on everybody? Today we're going to play through Chex Quest HD. I have played the original Chex Quest as well as the first level of this game with Fred. Uh, we did do all the stuff. So Flemoids 57 out of 57, Idols 56 out of 56, and Secrets 4 out of 4. We are going to go through each of these levels with each character in this playthrough um, and get all the secrets, items, and flamoid because I'm kind of curious if they actually change. Well, the items won't change, but I'm curious if the secrets themselves will change. So, without further ado, let us start the landing zone and play. Last week, a volcano exploded on planet Bozoic, launching particles of rock into space. One of these asteroids was captured and brought to our lands for testing. We were investigating these globules at Port of Snack Life on other planets when we discovered that they actually contain eggs to an evil snack-eating creature from another dimension. When the eggs are exposed to nutritional substances, they hatch into what we call lemoids. Two days ago, we lost contact with the people on Bazoik, including five members of the Chex Mix Squadron. We can only assume the Flemoids have taken over. To make matters worse, we have found that conventional weapons seem to have no effect on these Flemoids. However, by recalibrating the phase frequency of our Zorchers, we can send the Flemoids back to their own dimension. We need a volunteer to fly to the caverns of Bazoik and attempt to rescue the missing units there. That's ridiculous. What soldier be fool enough to enter a cavern full of unstoppable Flemoids from another dimension? I'm from Chexmix Squadron. And I volunteer. Setting coordinates for adventure. Chex Quest. Chex Quest, our Chex Squad, you're finally here. We need you to clear out these flimways. Be on that lookout. Man, that thing went by so fast. So, we do have an upgraded Zorcher, uh, which is this one, which is like a uh, uh, machine gun. Uh, the original one that you get, like, in the beginning of this game is this one right here. It's just like a, a regular pistol, but... <clears throat> So I feel like for continuity up until we unlock that Zorcher uh, that we have already unlocked, we're just going to use this one. Uh, it's going to be a little bit slower gameplay, of course, just because I, I feel like uh, the rapid the rapid gun actually does a lot more damage. So... We have to make sure that we're taking care of that. <clears throat> Alright, this is our first secret right here. Chex Max, uh, Chex Mix, Bazoic Spiciest Newsletter. Greetings, gossip friend. Your old pal Chet here. Unlike those other news sources, with their fact-checking departments, I'm back from my basement to bring you the hottest rumors and speculation on Bazoic. Make mine honey ghosted. It seems that someone has a sweet tooth and sticky fingers. All of the honey is missing from the latest IFS shipment supp uh, supply shipment. I'm not pointing any fingers, but it seems like Officer Crumb landed a pretty sweet gig when he was assigned the case. 
Uh, so I want to... I want to find all the secrets for one reason and one reason only. Uh, it gives you like some depth into the game and like some like lore, I guess, <clears throat> that they created for the game. And so I'm definitely going to. Sorry about that. I'm definitely going to um, get all the secrets. And it also looks like I'm gonna have to change my mic settings again because before my mic wouldn't pick up this uh this keyboard but today it seems to be doing the opposite now that's a nice Almost as nice as mine. I don't know if I did anything different or what but maybe I did See, these guys are the ones that are going to take a lot of uh, hits from the Zoy uh, Zorcher. Uh, slime Repellent is our armor. This is our second one, our second secret. Uh, checks list, Bazoic Mist Connection. You are, you are the adulting semi-opaque green blob moving slowly through the mining caverns. I was screaming terrified breadstick in a hard hat and a yellow safety vest running for cover. Our eyes locked briefly. Did I sense sparks? Call me. Wow, I guess he can't come past that door, which is kind of interesting, actually. <clears throat> I better the switch. Word for a second. Closed. Open. Maybe I should take a look around. Now I did read on the forums of Steam that this game, one of the achievements you have to beat, uh every single mission or all that you have to beat every mission with every quick character which is part of the reason why i'm gonna be doing that it's just so that i can get all the achievements done whoa got a big boy Picked up a suit of Chex armor. This is a no this is our third secret memo. Attention all scientists. It's been called uh it's been called to my consideration that contemptible characters callously cooking cons uh, consistently cost the cuisine in the corner kitchenette. I resolutely request you refrain from reheating rancid rations within the range of cubicles. It is called common co-worker courtesy. The crumbling kitchen in the caverns has been calibrated for this contemptible cause. In the meantime, this mysterious megalomaniac maintaining macro microwaving malpractice motivates much more meticulous minding from me. Wow. Now see that, that right there is a, uh, is a mouthful. I guess I'll explore this one too. Hmm. 
Wow, this dog from this guy, huh? I feel like this game looks really well done. I wish that they would actually release all three, I guess, like, quote-unquote chapters for it. Uh, current, like, currently, there's only this single one. So I'm kind of curious if there would be a way to use the assets in this game. Uh... And Unreal Engine 4 to create like um, to create like a mod or something like that that allows you to be able to play through all three games. But the thing is, is each each game has its own different environments. I remember, uh, so like. You would also have to create the environment or like recreate the environments and stuff. So, whether it would be possible or not, I don't know. Now, I watched the speedrun of this game, it's like down to like a minute. And I'm like, listen, I definitely can't. Like, I would love to, like, speedrun this game or something like that. Like, do something really fun with it. But a minute is just, like, way, 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 way too quick for me. I knew it. Must be original and then our third, uh, our fourth and final, uh... Our fourth and final, uh... Secret is through this right here. I forget what's actually down here. I think it's. I don't think it's anything important. Yeah, because we already got the red key. What we're trying to, what we are trying to find, is the red key. Because with the red key, you're able to get to the ending, ending, uh, ending of the stage. So now it's all up to getting this stuff. So this is the Zorcher that I had in the beginning of the game. Which is the... Uh, the... Like SMG or machine gun. And so yeah. Alright, D6 background. Ugh. Okay. As discovered in our initial planetary scans, most of the Bazoic surface is covered in multiple layers of mineral-rich soil due to, it, uh, due to its near-constant volcanic activity. This made Bazoic a prime choice for the IFS Nutritional Research and Development Facility. Currently, these materials are ex or these, these min minerals are extracted, pulverized, and mixed into the soil of the, in the Arboretum were subjected to further experimentation in the laboratory. I don't know why it says like that. As always, these experiments remain password clearance level top secret. Alright. Well, that was all four of the secrets. Now, this secret is one I don't know why it took me so long to find uh, when I first played this level. It feels kind of weird. Because, like, like, it doesn't seem like it should be that difficult. Okay, so we have to use that. Items found is only 89. I forget where the rest of them are. But we definitely we definitely did get this at some point. Especially in that last playthrough that we did. 
Oh, I think I know where they were. Yeah. Right. We finished the landing zone. And so now. Now is uh I don't I don't like where it how it didn't show me what level I was on. So we're gonna exit back into main menu. So this one is the storage facility, and in the next episode we are going to play it. Thank you everybody. Remember to like and subscribe. I will be putting locations of the secrets like easily accessible in the description with timestamps and then so if you ever if you need to know where all the secrets are and stuff like that you'll be able to know all right see y'all in the next episode red on level two storage facility have a great one everybody